5 8th Street Northwest and uh, show you around this property. So got a lot of wind noise in the mic on the camera here. So. Look at the fence surrounding the backyard. set I think will be included. Home was built in 2012 so really it's a relatively new home. Got a nice deck in the back. A little yard shed, a vinyl yard shed. It's kind of tucked on the side of the house there. Final siding on the outside of the home. A little bit of masonry ram. Take us in the garage here first. See there's a little bit of damage to the door frame. It's a triple attached garage. It's all sheetrock, insulated. Got eight foot tall overhead doors. Garage door openers. Or at least one garage door opener. into the foyer here. A little less wind noise in here. Split foyer, open railing, ceramic tile floors. You can see again there's some damage to the door frame. This is actually a VA reacquired property so it's actually owned by the Veterans Administration. So uh, it's basically like a bank owned property. Nice open floor plan here on the main floor. There's vaulted ceilings, ceiling fan. Kitchen has an island bar. You can see the appliances are, are missing. Um, the microwave and the dishwasher are stainless steel and they are still in place. There's a water hook up there for a, for a fridge. And it looks like an electric range connection. Laminate floor that goes through the, the kitchen area here and on into the dining room. It's a sliding glass door that takes you out onto the deck that we just saw from the back. Give you a view here of the backyard. Neighbors, backyards as well. Nice big open space. Down the hall here are three bedrooms, full bath, tub shower combination, there's an exhaust fan. You can see the home has been winterized and again that's due to the, the fact that it is a, a VA reacquired property. Floor coverings are in okay condition. Um, that's painted on the wall, so something that could be painted over. Uh, there's some damage here and there throughout the, the home. Probably not quite as crisp and clean as what you'd expect on just an owner-occupied uh, home. Painted woodworks throughout main floor. Floor coverings could probably be cleaned and used. Um, there are a couple areas where you can see they need to be stretched. 
bit in the hall here as well. You can see a little bit of wear marks, but um, that would be kind of a decision on your part as to whether you'd want to just replace or, or clean. Um, there is some damage to a window. I'm not sure the uh, story behind that. Um, sometimes when they acquire access, they do have to come in through a window. I don't know if that's the case here or not. It almost looks like there has been something that hit the window and, and broke it out. So, But it appears like it's just the window panes themselves. So I think that could be replaced without too much difficulty. Master bath uh, features double sinks. See the leak fixture. Fixture. There is some damage to the wall. I think that's pretty much cosmetic in nature. And there is the shower. Looks like probably a four foot shower. Nice big, nice big shower. And a linen cat cabinet. Crown molding there. Mixing, missing globe there in the light fixture and the master closet kind of a walk-in closet off of the master bath and there's a pocket door here that comes out to separate that closet space TV mount there still on the wall. It's a linen closet here in the hallway. Thermostat, and I think that's probably a remote for the fan, most likely. The ceiling fan. Take you downstairs, show you that. Foyer is a nice sized area here, so it doesn't, it's not crowded at all. There's a coat closet in the foyer. You're in a door at the base of the stairway here, taking you into the, the basement. Uh, the carpet's been removed in the basement. Um, but basically, it's all finished with the exception of the carpet, so pretty far along there, really. Makes for kind of an echoey room without the carpet. Again, TV mount on the wall there. Nice big open family room area, very usable. It's got the garden level windows. They're kind of tucked under the deck here, but they still bring in a lot of sunlight, so makes the space nice and nice and bright. And then of course the window to the front. Um, they have the cover off the electric panel. I'm not sure why that would be. Um, looks, everything looks pretty normal there. It's a 200 amp electric service. Again, the home was built in 2012, I believe it was, so pretty new house. Uh, there is some storage under the, the foyer. Good spot for your Christmas tree, just uh, suitcases, kind of things you don't use all the time. So that's one thing about the split foyers that are nice, gives you that little extra storage there. Another three-quarter bath, again, nice big shower bay. Exhaust fan. Show you the light fixture there. Oh, the cabin cabinetry is a real deep, uh, maybe espresso color. I don't know if that's the actual name of the color or not, but it's a real deep wood, wood tone color. It's one of the basement bedrooms, there's actually five bedrooms in the home. Of course, the, the big window provides lots of sunlight and also provision for egress. Right now, while I'm videotaping this, I'm seeing that there is a cracked window pane here in the lower level that could be for it from any number of reasons there could be a garden track or a lawn mowing or whatever but and down the hall here there is another bedroom so there's three bedrooms up two down for a total of five bedrooms my full door is off the track that i'm not sure if there's anything that needs to be done to that or if it's just taken off for whatever reason. You can see all the tack strip is still on where there was carpet at one time. And there's ceramic tile here in 
uh, in the washroom or the, the laundry room area. Very nice laundry room. Close the window. Nice size space, be plenty of room there for a folding table or ironing board or just kind of whatever. However you want to set it up, I think there's plenty of space to kind of do whatever you'd want. Raise panel doors again in the lower level that match the main floor. They are a hollow core door, but they're a six panel. Um, nickel hardware. And mechanical room here. Has an electric water heater and a high efficiency natural gas furnace, central air conditioning. You can see here that they've taken the meter off just when they winterize the home. Has a floor truss system, so all of your ductwork and mechanicals are up inside the floor. So in the living area here, you can see that the ceiling is just straight through as it would be on the main floor, so you can kind of keep all of the mechanicals up inside the floor. Take you upstairs here one more time here into the foyer. So this is 305 8th Street Northwest.